Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to episode 16.2, I think we're calling it. Is that correct, Zach? 16-2. You know, 16, all right, 16-2. Uh, I'm Sam Riley. I'm Zach Burrell. And we're joined, we're joined by Chad and James. How are you guys doing? Hi, I'm Chad. Doing good. All right. It's an honor. So, 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 so James on the bottom right plays quite a bit of Octagon. Um, in fact, he probably plays more Octagon than he does Paper Magic, or Paper Magic, Paper Final Fantasy. And then Chad plays quite a bit of paper, but this would be his first time playing Octagon, right? Have you played a game yet? Yeah, uh, I've played about four or five games. But that's without picture packs, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, man. He didn't know know that there was picture packs. He told me, like, this game would be way easier if you could see the cards. Which (laughs) red made you that? (laughs) Hey. So, funny enough, one of the reasons we wanted to do this video is a lot of you guys don't know about Octagon. Um, we did one on FF Dex, uh, so we figured we'd do one on Octagon. Um, and one of the things you should know is there are pictures to accompany yes. your cards, and you should use yes. them. Um, so, if you so if you go to any of the forums uh, or you message anyone, I actually have them saved on my computer. You can message me. I'll send them to you. Uh, but there, there's there's links. They're really easy to find. Um, well, I'll, if, if you guys would remind me, I will put them in the description. Um... Yeah, so without further ado, let's just get started. Uh, I've already yeah, so opened Octagon and signed in. Let's say, yeah, so last week we talked a little bit about Octagon. We started getting yeah. into it, but the podcast was going kind of long. We didn't want to go too much. We were just talking about it, and we built the fire deck, and we said that, hey, we wish we had time to play the fire deck. Yep. So I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going yeah. to kind of continue last week. Next week's going to be something special, so this week is just, you know, a little continuation. Um, so yeah, <coughs> Sam, you're going to be piloting it, right? Uh, yeah, while I'll- you teach Chad how to play on Octagon. Correct, and I don't have it actually. I sent uh, you a file so on I'm, Discord. Uh, it should be the exported uh, list. Which, by the way, FF well, Decks, another plug for them. You can export your deck list to an Octagon format, and put it directly in your game file, and I'm, you can play it. Uh, I'm actually uh, going to do that for these guys too, real quick. Okay. All right, so let me drag it over here, just so you guys can kind of see. So right here, right here I am um, at FF Decks. Here's my FF Decks username, Random Drooler. I'm gonna go to my collection. And here are all my thousands of decks. Um, Join the crowd. Here we go. So here it is. I'm going to hit the view. Uh, I'm going to favorite that one. Here's our mono fire deck. And open or export as octagon. And this actually just, if you don't have, I already have octagon open, but if it doesn't, it opens up this for you right here. That's true, yeah. So easy. You can, here's the set filters. You can add, change your decks right here. Anyway, this is my exact deck. Um, it's pretty good about making sure all the decks are, Perfect. Before it used to add like sometimes the wrong night or so. So I'm going to save this deck real quick. As you can see, I also have like hundreds of decks. Then you have like my Fasoya builds, my Fun decks, my Fire Water builds, Ice decks, my Kansas decks, Kansas two for the can for um for next week or not next week, next month. Oh, I I'll say, I already like do have it. Dave. All right. Well, I'm, oh, I think I showed them how to save it last time, but I didn't. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So anyway, there we go. So we're just going to go ahead and open up Octagon and get started. So first we're going to play, or right here, you can change this to spectate or play. Uh, we will do play, obviously. And I'm going to actually create a room. Chaka bro. Am I, is it possible that I can share screen instead of uh, showing my camera for this? Or Oh yeah, so you can run it through. Um, I can show how it looks on the spectator side. Okay. Uh, the honest answer is uh, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm doing fun test. Oh, here we go. And I can put in a password. Yeah, you can toggle your camera on screen share. Right, oh, right. even right. better. So there we go. You can see. It. So I'm gonna put password. Oh, I, I, I'm not. You can pay money to enter a password. I don't have one. So fun test for Chad. Hopefully, not a million people <laughs> join it to this. Yeah, right. You know, million Chad. Yeah. All right. So the game's up. Here we are. Right. Two sides on my side. One side. There's this little button right here. That says spectate or play, depending on how you have it toggled. So you have yep. to do a spectate if you want to watch. Yep. And you see that little blue line going across the screen? That's kind of a refresh bar. Yeah, that's basically so the refresh bar. Whenever it gets bar. down to here, it will refresh the list with whatever's happened since it last refreshed. Yeah, except for it did go through, right? And we're <clears> not <throat> seeing the game, or is that am I crazy? Uh, I'm on spectate, so the game has to actually start. Oh, right. okay, great. All right, so are you, are you going to jump in there then, Chad? Yeah, so I'm already in there. In my game, the one that says "fun Chad," yes, sir. Fun Chad, yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be I, unfun Chad. I think you 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 oh, start. I know, I know. All right, so this is Chad's uh, first time with us. So Chad already messed up. Chad, you created your own game. 
did? What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you're going to want to join my game. <laughs> it's all a learning curve. All right. He just wanted oh, to start. Hit that big green button. I press the start button. I see a game by user Maggot. So this is, I could watch their game. You um, could, yeah. Cast, apparently. Uh, but I'm not going to jack their game. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> wait for all right. All right. Hours. All right. So he's in. Um, so what here is we have player A and player B. It's really important to make sure you guys aren't set to the same player. Um, trust me, it's very annoying. Uh, I could change him to spectate if I wanted to. Um, like right now, I'll put James on spectate. Yeah. Um, there you go. B. Okay. All right. So I can just hit start. Here we go. There we are. So the first thing you'll notice is we have these little um, shortcut things. Right click for shortcuts. You don't have to right click here for shortcuts. You can right click anywhere. Anyway, so first thing I do is I take these and drag them over here, wherever you want. Just get rid of it. So take it and drag it into your like your damage zone or something like that, or into your hand. You just hold it and drag it, Chad. <laughs> is it not dragging in? Oh, it, it would help if I'm in my own hand. Says I don't control <laughs> <that>. <laughs> this is perfect. This, this is actually just perfect, the, right? The greatest learning experience ever. <laughs> All right. So look, here's here's down at the bottom left, you see Chocobo. bro. That's me. Fire shot. That's Chad. I can click yep. back and forth between the two. And that's actually really important. I'm going to show you why. Uh, this is really important over here. This is your chat feed. Um, ooh, spectators can type too. I am going to make sure that you guys know um, that you have to follow this very carefully because your opponent might make a mistake. I don't want to say that they're going to cheat you, but they could make a mistake. Um, but if you're playing in like the, the Octagon, um, uh, the Eidolon Festival, is that what it's called, right, James? The one coming up? Yeah. yeah the, I'm yeah. excited for it. Yeah, so the Eidolon Festival coming up, if you're playing in that, something where there's stakes involved, you just you kind of want to watch this to make sure nothing fishy happened, like your opponent accidentally drew another card, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so here we go. I'm going to go to Game Load Deck. Uh, all right. I'm, uh, so go to game and then load your deck, Chad. Let's load deck, and we are in. So right here, down here, it says I've loaded my deck. I'm a man to echo PP standing up always. Uh, not if I'm lazy. Okay. Or like really tired. I'm really tired. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So he loaded a deck. Another important thing to do is check for deck 50, 50. It's all good. So F12, or if you want to right click, you can hit draw for five. But before before you do that, I already did. That's fine. We're gonna roll for first, which is Alt X, or you can right click again. So we're gonna roll for first. I rolled a one. Good luck beating that man. And roll for first. He rolled a two. I won. So he mm, he first. he won. He's Twice gonna have a. Good. Yeah, he's going to have a little bar that pops up here that says, um, would you like to play first, et cetera, second, et cetera. All right, so... Well, advice is almost always yes. He's already doing some crazy... Yeah. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> I accidentally mulliganed because I keep looking at my deck, or your deck. Okay, so... Yeah, let me, so sl slow down, I'll walk you through it, okay? All right. So I'm going to hit F12 to draw my initial hand. Um... Yeah. My initial hand is not looking great. It's also not looking terrible. It's it's just just for Zach and James. It's Phoenix, Phoenix, Bahamut. <laughs> oh God, Ninja, Ninja Tella, Nine Drop. Okay, so you're I'm, mulligan, bro. No, I'm keeping it. Would you guys mulligan this hand? Um, it has easy discards, but at the same time, you don't want those cards to be are those for later. So I don't know. Are those two uh, Phoenix seven cost ones? Yes, they, they are. Yeah, the thing is, is that like I have a two drop, I have a play next turn, and I have a Phoenix if things slow down later and I need it. Do you have a way of searching your deck? Uh, I don't remember honestly. Not many. Uh, you know, we're gonna keep it and just show them how. If I wanted to mulligan it, I could hit F twelve again or right click and hit uh, draw five mulligan right here. And as you guys can see, as spectators, you can't actually see the contents of their hand, but you can Correct. see public zones, like uh, break zones and which, things. Which I'm can't pop it out. Yeah. But um, that's to prevent, I mean, cheating. Like, we could be in this Discord call, and he could be playing someone else, and I could just tell him everything. Yep. So, so if I want to shuffle my deck, which I already drew, so I wouldn't, shouldn't normally do that, but you could just hit Control-S, or again, right-click, and uh, somewhere over here, shuffle. Oh, you right-click over here. There you go. Shuffle. Click on, on the actual, the actual deck. deck. Yep. All right. 
Uh, Chad, you're going first. So in order um, yeah. to ch change phases, you're going to hit tab, and that'll kind of guide you. Don't click them too quickly. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mulligan my opening hand. All right, so just hit F12. Yep. All right. So I resolve my mulligan, and we're going to start off with... Uh, yeah, draw one card. Hit tab. Prepare. Hit. Hey, hey, for, hey, first put that back in your hand. Just drag the cheever back to your hand. hand. Yep. Now hit tab to move tab. into... Yeah, you need to draw a card first. You're in the active phase. Active, draw. draw. Phase. There you go. Have you ever, have you ever okay. played on Moto? I have not. Oh, okay. Never mind then. So we're going to discard and gain CP. Play this card. We are going to... So he's on ice. Discard and gain CP. Oh, this is excellent to like see card. card like cards people are actually playing. He's on ice water, yeah. And then we're going to... Not going to attack for this turn. Okay, alright, so he passed. So I'm going to hit tab to move through my phases. Um, and we drew, in my opinion, excellently, because we can play this turn one. We'll move into this turn two. After that, we can either decide to play this on turn three, or we can just play this if we want to curve into this on turn four. Um... So we're going to discard, <laughs> so right click, discard to gain, then I'm going to play the ninja. The reason I discarded the phoenix, or the, the Bahamut over the phoenix is I really think phoenix is like the stronger of the two cards. And something might change next turn where I don't play the Tela. So I might not discard either of these phoenixes, depending on what happens. So is I'm going to tab. Three, three cost Tela? Yeah, I'm going to tab through. Yeah, that's excellent. And move into his turn. Right. So now it's his turn. So I'm you can see active. each individual turn step down here too, where it says yep. like enter, activate, enter, draw. So you can draw. see exactly yep. when things are happening. So uh, some people yeah. kind of skip through, like not thinking about it, and they'll end their turn. But you can kind of stop and say, "Hey, wait a second, I got something before my turn," and you have to do it before you activate. But. Yep. And real quick, if you notice the chat down, if if you look down here, the the it's just it's that it's also like, hey guys, it's also the chat or wait, have a response. It's um, actually a shortcut. I think it's F10 to say that you have response. Is that correct? Yeah. Is it F10? Is that what the uh, the pause and play button do on the uh, on the player? Uh, I don't remember. Don't click those though. <laughs> I, I remember it's a big deal. I remember it's really annoying. Um, Let's not break that. Then. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so the re anyway, you also have to you have to watch this too. Be and here's why, right? So I'm gonna cheat real quick. Uh, for you guys watching, you'll be able to see what I draw. So I'm not actually cheating, right? All right, I drew an extra card, right? In the middle of his turn, he's thinking about what he's going to do. He might not have seen it that quickly, right? Uh, down here, Chocobro drew an extra card. What the heck, right? It tells him. So that's actually really important to know. So I'm going to put that back. And but so just, just keeps playing on, doesn't say anything. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, Pretty so... Pretty much anything goes in your hand, it'll say something. So they can't even yep. like pull something out of their break like, uh, damage zone or something. Yep. Have you yeah. ever resized your hand to full size? That's obnoxious. Yeah, it's yeah, it Holy is it God. is obnoxious. You don't have to continue doing it. All right, so we actually really wanted to draw a uh, VB this turn, and we didn't. But that's okay. I actually really like the way this hand is shaping out to be. We're gonna take some early damage. Um, yeah, I mean that's just that's what's gonna happen. I, I think that I really like I really like playing the Tella and the Libra. I'm only gonna play one. The thing is is that like I might play the Tella and play the Red Mage this turn, because it lets me curve into Phoenix next turn. So but maybe the Are you, Le Bra, Le are you discarding a relevant target? So I, I I'm not yet. I'm hoping to draw one. I have Tella in my I have an extra Tella in my hand, so Tella special is available next turn. Maybe that's a good enough reason to t play the teller over the Lebrow. What do you think? If I Probably. have if I have it available next time, so I'm gonna dole this. Um, You're not exactly. Do you have another two drop backup? You said you had a red yeah. mage. I'm oh, there's a trickster on the field. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, I'm gonna discard a phoenix. I think the phoenix is gonna be really good in this matchup. So maybe I don't even discard. Yeah, I, I think the phoenix is actually too good in this matchup. I'm gonna discard the cat instead. It's actually interesting. That trickster is very good against ranger. Yes. And I'm going to play this. And then I'm going to discard this. The pro so the, dis the problem with discarding the bow here is that if next turn I... It, let's say next turn he just plays a backup. 
I don't really want a Phoenix and kill his Trickster. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I kind of wouldn't mind just tapping three and playing my backup that pumps on my fire for it. So if I discard this turn, I, I take away that option. So I'm going to go ahead and discard the Phoenix to play the Red Mage. I do think that it is important that I move to three backups this turn. And then again, I'm just going to tab, 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 tab until it's his turn. All right. So go ahead and hit tab. You're in the active phase. Draw your cards. Good. Move into your main phase. Hit tab. Now you're going to see a lot of your opponents are skipping some of these steps. Just just out of like, I don't know. Maybe, all right, so he's in an attack phase now. All right. So if you want to attack, right, you can highlight your guy and hit alt A. Or you can right click and go to your forwards. And I'll, I'll show you whenever it's, I have one. And a declare attack. Alt A is to attack. Alt D is to defend. So he's attacking. I'm going to go right click here. And say take damage. I wish there's a shortcut for take damage. And we I hit a goblin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, yep. So we're gonna move into main two. All right. <clears throat> so he's tabbed into main two right here. And right here it even shows the score. So uh, I've taken one damage. He's taken zero. This deck actually seems really sweet. Maybe bad, but sweet. The fire deck. Yeah, Mystic. <laughs> Wait, what right. is this he, crap? He said he was going to put that in yeah. the deck. <laughs> he said he likes it with Minmoo. All right, so... Mm. It is okay. sweet with Minmoo. It's, it'd, it'd be nice if your heart out, I'll say. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to untap. I'm going to hit tab to untap. Wait, nice, or un nice. undul or activate, and then I'm going to hit tab to go and draw my two cards. Oh, man, we are not drawing all that well, huh? Um... Reduce it by five. That that card's so stupid. So, <laughs> what would I have to? <laughs> what would I have to tell a special into for each four thousand for each three CP? CP. So uh, three, three CP. CP. So if I hit a two CP, it's just field bads, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you take three K or take three K. Do I want to just take two damage though and go to three damage? You could technically tell a special that if that doesn't work, you could Phoenix. But that feels that's awful. that's extremely expensive, and I have no. No, I can't Phoenix. I don't have a target. Oh, that's great. Actually, let me let me tell you. This is really, really important. I'm going to right-click my damage zone, look at all cards, and I'm going to move this over here. I always do top left. It's up to you. Then I'm going to right-click, look at all cards, and left right here. So now I keep track of what I have and what... I want to keep track of what Chad has too. So I'm going to click his name over yeah, here. Yeah, normally I do both break zones. Yep. I'm going to go over here, look at his break zone, put his break zone down here to match across from my break zone. Right click here, look at his damage zone, put it across from right here. I'm not going to right click and say look at his deck, okay? Uh, because it will tell me what's in his deck in exact order, and if your opponent does that, they're scum. All right, so let's think back. Option. It is. Not for you, though. Let's, I'm looking at my list right now. I have my list pulled up. We have two Lednars we could hit, right, that are bad. One Goblin's in the break zone already. And then we have one, three, so we have a bunch of two drops. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have one mage already, so six, seven. We already have the ninja. So eight, nine, so, so ten, eleven, if we include the blast. So eleven of our cards are misses. Eleven of our spin cards are wheel. misses. Do we spin the wheel, really? Eleven. Oh, yeah, spin that wheel. So we have like a 24, 20, we have like, we have like a 20, yeah. We could always, uh, oh, I have 38, not even 40. So, obviously, we could hypermetric yeah. or hypergeometric it, but yeah, I think that the odds are that he, I hit obviously, I hit um, and kill his guy. The the repercussions if I don't, though, are pretty bad, right? I just waste a Tella special, yeah. yeah I could, the, uh, what about 29% chance? 29%? Yeah. What if I here the other option? So let me walk you guys through what my other options. I'm thinking are is I could I could um tell uh, his trickster just to kill his trickster and then tap two and play my four drop tell tell and discard a card play four drop tell. I could just take two. I'm actually just not even that opposed to doing that. And the other option is I just play the brow, or I could try the tell special if I miss. Still play the bow. Yeah, that's probably where I'd be, just because... Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We can right-click the Tella. Later. When we have one in hand, we can right-click the Tella. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give me an error message, and I'll show you why. We have special abilities, and use a special recall. It's going to make this annoying sound. It's because his special ability requires a CP, and I don't have any CP 
floating per se. So I'm going to dole gain a CP. Now I'm going to try special abilities recall. And then I am using, wait, why, why is there two different abilities? What is going on? Okay. It's letting me tell us, oh, which one I discard. Oh, wait, I should read. There we yeah. Go. Which one do I want to discard? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want to discard the three. The three Probably, drop. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm going to discard. I love that sound. Yeah. That's uh, cool. <laughs> what did super it, Saiyan. Yeah. What, did it reveal? It did, right? Or did it not reveal yet? No. You have to no, you have target have dull been, and then okay, um, so you have, I think you have to manually dull. remove. Okay. So I'm going to target... This guy. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with killing Just drag guys. the card. And yeah, I really don't think that's there. a good move. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I, you know, I think I think the right place to kill Trickster, but we're trying to have a little fun here. All right. Boom! Ludith! All right. So this is going back to the top of the deck, right? No, it's exiled. Removed? Oh, it's exiled? Wow. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to 12... We're going we're gonna to 12k him, so hit him for 7k. Is that good? Yeah. All right. It'd be that's great if you just, like, no... Nah. Counter. As someone who played Mono Fire for a little while there, that was a really bad idea. <laughs> <All right. laughs> for future reference. I'm going to discard the Belias. And you can kill Trickster and Dole Gain right? Ninja and play. Yeah, well, that's my thing, is I think I can kill a guy anytime. But I don't think I needed to kill either of them right now. The problem is I haven't drawn a forward, so I, I am worried that just, just to let him just run me over by not doing this. Also, see how this is still highlighted? If that annoys you, it's going to unhighlight at the end of my turn. But if that does annoy me, you can right click and say remove highlights. And that's just highlighting showing we use the special this turn. So yeah, I'm going to tab. I think action abilities are purple, right? Yeah. I'm going to tab into his turn. All right, your turn, Chad. And if you're in Discord like we are, you and you're playing with like a friend or something, you could say, you could tab to your end and say, like, hey, or to the end of your second main, rather, and just say, hey, do you have anything? And then tab yeah. through. Yeah. Or uh, another example is I'll just I'll just tab draw my two cards don't even enter the first main phase <clears throat> attack and say pass like <laughs> you know we play you play much quicker when you're doing this oh you attack with trickster you sure you want to do that all right you're 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 oh man all right <laughs> card, I'm trying to think of what you um, could even do to damage okay all right um, main two we are going to play back up ooh activate scholar. Discard a card, yeah, activate Scholar. Oh, yeah. Then go play Mystic Knight. I do think it's interesting, uh, Chad, if I was playing your deck, and I thought, like, well, I like Mystic Knight and, and Minwoo, particularly against his deck, I would have actually held on to that Mystic Knight until I had the Minwoo. Huh. Oh. Well, you, you drew the Minwoo, didn't you? I got it now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, but yeah, you know. No. I think people are, keep, yeah, out. I don't think that Minbu is that good against fire, um, but we're, we're going to find out. <laughs> I mean, you can, you have so many ways to I mean, get yeah. Over. One right. thing is, you didn't That's put like Warmack in this, did you? Uh, no, should I have? You think it's good? I love it so much. <laughs> it, it gets past Minbu. Because yeah, it, it's true. any of the damage you're doing, true. you can buff it. Alright, so this is the guy that searches for another guy, right? Uh, this guy searches for DGS first class. All right, go get a first class, my friend. We will look at... Ooh, if I draw a VV, is the game over? All cards. I mean, you'll kill that deep ground, but he'll have a DGS in hand, and then... And then if he ever kills my VV, I can Phoenix. Right, right. That's important for you guys that are a little bit newer at the game, to know, too. Like, um... You can't, you can't like, discard VV... And use it for the same target to get back. Yeah, because when you go to play an action ability that requires a cost or a special ability or cast a summon, you declare the ability first and declare targets, and then yep. you pay costs. Yep. So you can't target something that you're discarding because at the time you choose the targets, it's not actually in the zone to be chosen. That All right. is different, though, to cards that say when they enter the field, like Lena target something and bring it back, you can discard, say, a knight for Lena and then bring it back because... The cards are the cost is paid. The cards on the field, and it's the entering of the field that triggers the ability. So I'm gonna play this guy, this Le, this Lenar. Um, I guess technically I should keep this open and dull this. It's important to do that. And I'm gonna play oh, this. The, uh, pay two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy is good against a five k. Um, if I were to draw like a Belize or something, 
it would be really good against Trickster, except for Trickster doesn't take damage from first shot. Yeah. <laughs> so that's important to know, not to trick Trickster yourself into something like that. Do not Ash ability a Trickster. Yeah. So <laughs> there, there is a funny interaction, which I hope to show you, depending on what Chad does here. All right. So let's see. Lednar is a 6k. Yeah. All right. Oh, Where can I look at your deck list? Um, it is, fire. It's on the FF decks. Uh, Chad, can you send it to the chat real quick? Or not Chad. Uh, Zach, can you send it to the chat? Yeah, I think Zach would probably be able to do that. That's right. Yeah. That. I think it looks like he's doing <laughs> that right now. Um, I think we do that. Yeah. All right, so his guy got bigger. Oh. See, James, if you watched our podcast, you'd know how we got to this list. No, guys. <laughs> I did watch it, actually, but it was just kind of in the back. Yeah, most people oh, listen to it, yeah. All right, so his guy just got top bigger. Those are some large standard units. So this dude's like a mini warrior fight. Yeah. Right. guys. So I, I think that he made a mistake here um, <clears throat> in attacking with that. And... And here's why. Like, this is why uh, Lednar is so good, right? I'm going to declare a block. And he gets he gets to choose whether he wants to pay two, right? So declare was it forwards. I can block. Oh, here you can change power. You can add damage to your guys. You reset it. Declare defense. <clears throat> declare attack. I usually just hit alt A. Or alt D. So alt D in this case. I'm going to block here. Now, Lednar has a trigger. Now he has to pay two, or my guy cannot be blo or broken for the rest of the turn, including the rest of his guys. Here's the issue. <laughs> e even if he pays the two, would you like to pay the two, Chad? Um. <laughs> Who knew fire was a discard deck? I'm going to say no to that one. Okay, so he's not going to pay the two. So basically he can't attack the rest of the turn now, because my guy can just block all of his attacks, because it can't be destroyed. Had he paid the two, he would have discarded a card because he didn't have the two CP open, right? And then I would have just tell it his guy anyway. So. And then he had to pay it again if he attacked. He would have to right. pay it again, exactly. All right. Are you passing? Uh, yes. So he's entered. He's now entered my turn. Now, there's no way to back up. I do have something that I would like to do at the end of his turn. Okay. So instead... What I'm just going to do is do it right now, and then when I tab into my turn, it'll go through. So I'm actually going to use Tela special. <laughs> because I have no one drop. Oh, I have goblins. Ooh, what if I hit goblin? You have one goblin. It's in damage. Goblins in damage. Uh, do I only There's have a one? Single goblin, yes. I think I think my, what, I, why do I feel like my list is different than yours? Maybe I only have one goblin. Let's hope I only have one goblin. Anyway, we're going to do it anyway, because YOLO. We're going to target here, and I'm going to drag it so he sees it. All right, boom. We dealt that guy 12,000 damage. Okay. So you could have done that. Now, why didn't you choose to do that in combat in order to kill the guy you're blocking? What do you because mean? he didn't pay the cost, so there's no point. In doing it. Right, but he would kill the... Because he would shrink to 5k and kill the 5k. I, I still do that. So look... I've dealt his guy 5,000 damage already from the block. Oh, I see, oh, I see what you're because saying. Right. So I, right, right, right. I, oh, no, 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 it doesn't die. I, my bad. It doesn't die because oh, of Minwoo. Minwoo, Minwoo yeah. You're right, oh, actually. Okay. You're right. So that was a play mistake because I'm just not, I'm not, I'm trying to teach. Yeah, I should have paid yeah. attention. You're right, right. So I should have just done that, killed, and I would have killed his both guys. That's all right, though. Yeah. So, well, just to be clear, so you guys understand, what he's saying is I dealt his guy 6,000, so his guy would die. Normally, but he has Minwoo, so that didn't happen. But I would have killed both. Yeah, all right, so we'll just play on normally. Just, uh, just want to practice anyway. All right, so is my, my turn still, right? I'm going to untap. Yeah. Just by tabbing. All right, and I think that this effectively is very, very, very good here. Trickster right. is uh, 7k. Let me fix that. Forward. So this is modified power, power right here. I like how it just pops up as 9,000. Yeah, so pay attention to Zach's screen over here. Yeah. So, and now he just, he took off the power modification, but Lednar still has a 6, even though it's a 5k, because of Labrube down here. 
Uh, the Archeon's pretty good about automatically giving you bonuses like that that are static, uh, but sometimes they linger. So you yep. have to be wary about that. So I actually just kind of want to clear... I, I, I understand how standard units work, and they all pump each other in his <clears throat> Minwoo. So, yeah. honestly, I just want to kill all of them right now. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to tell a his trickster okay and then i'm going to vv his deep sea understanding that he could discard his cards to save it i think i'm 100 percent fine with that so let's just do this first we're going to play the vv uh my second spot right here which puts it right here and then i'm going to shift hold shift and click on his guy so he understands who i'm targeting with that vv you could also oh, draw arrows by holding shift like this. So I'm I'm trying to attempt to deal four thousand plus two thousand for every card in your hand. Okay, so VV result. All right. So then I'm going to let's see what could he have. There's a few things you can have. That's I'm fine with. Um, so I'm going to tell a activate. You can use uh, declare ability. And I'm going to target trickster. This goes in the yard no matter what, since sacking is part of the cost. Okay. So 7,000 to trickster. In response, I'm going to Bismarck. Sure. So you're going to discard, sir. And right, target only cost one. One, yeah. Only All right, cost so, one. Okay, so you're going to return the trickster? Yes. And see, I like that from my perspective. Because now I'm going to hit him with the Lenar. Yeah, you're still uh, getting rid of that card. Yeah, let me actually move an attack phase to it right. So I would actually move an attack. I would hit Alt-A on this guy and turn him sideways. Boom. Uh, you are, he, he took the damage down here. All right. Now I think that I don't. So I have two plays. I could, I could Belias the VV, and keep going, but I don't think that I need to do that. Let me look at my yard. Mm -hmm. I have no three drops. See, I have no three drops, so this makes this a little bit worse. So I almost think that maybe it is a good idea to Belias and get an extra point of damage. But we're we're losing one card to trade for an extra point of damage. I know a lot of people think that's a good trade. I think that losing a combat trick, though, makes it a bad, card, bad trade. Plus, think, you have cards in your deck like Vaughn that you want to have haste yeah, when it comes out. Right, yeah. So I think, you get I think a lot more value bad. later. Yeah. Right, so we're going to pass. That's a good point. I'm going to hit tab into his turn. All right. Gonna... Sabin would be great on attack. You can just like make VV and Lednar unbreakable or something and just go in with Sabin out of nowhere and then party attack or whatever it is. Yeah, I think if you do play Mono Fire, you just have to have Lender. Yeah. Uh, Plus you have like Ninja the... Red to close out the game, too. Lender is mm. a great target for Phoenix. It is, yeah. You're welcome to kill it at any time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Lender's <laughs> like the Alua fire card. Yeah, Gadget is. I think Gadget's really strong in this deck. My wife has been playing Lightning Fire, and then I've been seeing List Top and do well with it lately, and they're but they're playing Gadget, so I think I'm going to switch her to a Gadget version. That card just seems very strong. All right, what do we got? So he's dulling his stuff. I'm paying attention down here to make sure. It's one of those cards that just constantly accrues value. Yep. Uh, without oh, look, Trickster. Realizing it. And we'll play that. Okay. Pass turn. All right, so I'm going to draw. Now, Trickster doesn't receive damage... From forge with haste or first strike. If I were to party attack, for example, and one of them had first strike, no, none of it. If one doesn't, they all don't. Right. Wait, actually. But the actually, forward, the forward right. does have first strike. Actually, you're right. Um, well, that, one would not do damage. But the that's other interesting. Would. Yeah. Right. No, yeah, you're right about that. But it is important to know that party attacks don't first strike doesn't work in party attacks. But Trickster unless does see all, that the well, forward has first, first strike. Yeah. yeah. But Trickster does see that it has first strike. So here, here are my options, guys. Uh, I really like playing selfie this turn, since I just drew it, and it's a pretty card. And I like attacking this turn. I like attacking every turn in my fire decks. Um, I don't have to choose between the two. I think I can play selfie by discarding the selfie I just drew, and then red mage his trickster so it can't block, and then get in there. So first, but before I do that, first I'm going to attack with uh, let's see. Is there any reason I'd want him to block to like trip him into something? There's not. So I'm just going to go ahead and dole that and just tell him. So first I'm going to dole 
the no show until that one and gain the CP. Instead, I'm using this ability and I'm going to target this guy. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to say okay. And here, he's on Discord, so I'll probably just say okay. So your red mage ability, all right. Yep, I'm going to remove. Yep. All right, so now I'm going to move into my attack phase. And I'm going to attack with Lednar first. The reason being is that if he, if he hits a EX burst, I would much rather him bounce the VV or kill the VV. So I want to have already dealt damage with the Lednar. So I'm going to attack with this guy all day. All right. So that's the reason I'm attacking in that order. All right, and now I'm definitely going to attack with a BB. And damage. Once he takes the damage, notice the highlight Last. does disappear. All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and play the selfie. I'm going to put in the second left because I don't like to have empty spots at OCD like that. And pass over back to Chad. All right, so activate, draw two. What do you guys think about this deck, though, by the way? It does seem kind of cool, right? Yeah, no, I mean... I'm on a flare deck. I I guess I help make it, so my opinion doesn't matter. Your yeah. Is... <laughs> well, what do you think, James? I like it, but uh, it's missing three cards. War Warmack, would... right? You said Warmack. Warmack, Vermilion. Um, I don't remember the whole name of the card, but the five cost that so has is, ace. Is my list drag. somehow is my list somehow different than Zach's? I definitely thought I had Vermilion. No, we decided not to put it in because we had Vaughn and we also had the oh, Zombies, and it was too high. Of, it was too high on the curve, but we weren't gonna. I have a mono fighter card. deck in RL, and it has Vermilion, and I was looking at it earlier. That's why. All right, so and I'm shadows a, missing. I like to put in one or two shadows. We we talked about putting in shadow. We did, I do like shadow the dark package. Yeah. But we, it's a lot better if you have the dark package. But we were going for a little bit more of an aggro list with the ranger and the Vaughn and the haste options. And I think uh, really, that, if we were building the deck to be the best deck possible, we'd probably include some of the dark package. But the problem is, like, then you go into the earth package because you can't not play Star Sybil, right? <laughs> yeah, so we were trying to keep it mono. And we mono want it to be like mono fire. Well, you yeah, can no. if you have self control, Sam. Okay, well, I don't. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't usually self control into bad decks. We just Well, some of us do, some of us don't. All right, <laughs> so he played a Ford. That can't, when it deals damage before, dull it and freeze it. Well, that's no good. They've already attacked. Um, yeah. And his devout target, should he choose a devout... Oh, he's got a lot of decent devout targets. None of them are terrible, right? I'm going right. devout. Are you devouting? What would you, you bring him back? I am going Where to bring him back. What are you talking about? Warrior of Light. Uh, was, it, was it that obvious? I didn't even have to look. <laughs> okay. That's fair. I, I can't see his break zone. I knew that's what was coming. Does it do anything? I guess yeah, so. It makes his guys big. They first yeah, strike now. That's true. And now that's that's the true trickster. He's like, "Hi, I have first strike, but your right. first strike doesn't matter." So I'm gonna yeah. untap. It's gonna pretty draw cool. To... Uh, mirror match. Yeah. So I drew, I, I drew I drew Emperor Zon <laughs> I drew Emperor Zonde, which I'm not too excited exactly. about because his attack isn't gonna do me anything. Belize. Uh, um, but his attacking with isn't gonna do me anything. Like his his attack five k attack. His on right, attacking. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I understood. I think um, I just, I think I just attack with Lenar. He's also just a nine. If, if he, he has to pay two to block. He's got one card in his hand. So I I'm get, I, yeah. I'm gonna put Warrior of Light in my hand to play it for free, so I get the buffs. Okay, sure. So you're not confused. Just yeah. so you know, I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. <laughs> I don't even know if uh this. Uh, oh look, his guy's got bigger. I wonder if we do it again, if they'll become nine thousand. <laughs> Alright, so I could also party attack. Oh man, there's there's actually, I have quite a bit of options here. Okay, so he has one card in his hand, right? Here's what I think that I'm going to do, and I'll explain why. I'm going to attack with the, the Lednar first. Um, I don't think that he can block... Let me, see, let me make sure, let's see. So if he well, blocks... it's plenty fine, right? Because you just have... You have selfie. Yeah. Yeah, the selfie's gonna blow yeah, so, out. Yeah, yeah, so he can't block because of selfie. You can All also right. just red mage the first strike threat if you want to try to force him to kill the... Uh, yeah. Although, you don't want to tap out, though, because he'll go to six. Right. Although, maybe you do, actually. Never mind. So, did you take the damage? Um, I'm gonna take the damage. Alright. Take damage, we hit warrior of light. Alright, so here's where we get a little tricky, guys. Alright. <clears throat> It cannot block. So I can make both of his guys not block this turn with the ninja ability plus the red mage ability and hit him to four, four, right? 
five. He's on four. Oh, he's on four down here. Okay. So what I think that I might want to do, though, is I think I just attack with the VV. So... All right, we're going to attack with the VV. Just remember Minu. We're attacking with the VV. Defends with Rogue. All right, so my guy is going to die, right? Yes. All right, so then I'm going to... Dole these three. Discard. This card. <coughs> I'm going to discard this card and this card, I guess. You discarded Zonda. Interesting. I thought you were going to leave him up <coughs> on blocking duty. Huh. This card and this card. Maybe that was right. I don't know, Zach. Maybe it's right. Then I'm gonna... you get to block. I mean, if he attacks a trickster, great, but then you can Play block Phoenix. My target, I have my targets over here, so my target's going to be VV. Do you have any response? So I'm targeting VV. Shift click. Well, who are you targeting with? Uh, 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 I'm targeting yeah. Warrior Light. Um, okay, resolve. Oh, seems good. All right. So <laughs> my VV is going to come in at the same time this resolves. So its ability is going to go on the stack, see Rogue, who is now back to a 5K, and yes. deal 5K to it. Okay. So the other option I have here now is he's got one card in hand. I could put a lot of pressure on. I could actually belias the VV and attack with it again. Since you're still in combat. Okay. Yeah, because because it is treated as a new forward, I can actually attack with it again. I don't I don't yeah, love that play though. It comes in dull. Oh, it does yeah, come in. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. 3K does. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say because uh, yeah, I don't I don't love that play anyway though because of the cards I have to get rid of. All right, so we're just gonna pass. We're feeling pretty good about our position because he's going to three cards. We already have two cards. We have two guys on the board. We have more backups than he has. You also have two ways to make things unable to block, so yeah. there's a lot of pressure. It's really him. annoying when your opponents leave your guys targeted like this, so I'm going to go ahead and, and do him a favor and untarget this. I just hold shift and click it. But, man, it's really frustrating. All right. Here Chad goes, getting all excited. <laughs> Real, realizes what he can do. The oh, power, man. The power. All right. Hey, just just imagine next set we can right click and click take control. Like I can take control oh. of your min move right now, but there's no actual cards oh. that le would let me do that. All right. I forgot they said that was coming out next set. Yeah, you can really? do it. You can do it right now. That. Yeah, yeah. One of the new effects is that you can take control of your opponent's forwards. Which can is we explain how that works. So in <laughs> ma in magic it works like this. I will play a sorcery. I can control your forward. Oftentimes, what I'm thinking is going to work, like, it's going to work like uh, Uni. You know, when Uni's dull, she stays dull. I think it might be like when this forward comes into the field, whatever, um, take control of your opponent's forward, and as long as this forward remains in the field, or something like that. Please All right. Tell them. So I'm discarding cards. Yep. Yes, Are you, sir. Man, this guy is so triggered. All right. <laughs> So we're going to discard the Belias, I think, because we don't want to give our guys first strike because then Trickster doesn't take any damage. I do really want to keep this Belias, though. It's so good. All right, we're going to discard it, though. All right. All right. I'm curious what this other card is. Um, <clears throat> well, as soon as we draw, we that guy's going back down. Three damage. I'm at three damage. Will you be able to make their card attack? I, if You're controlling you, Yes, but I don't think the first time we don't know whether it's the first turn it comes under your field. Like if if they've had it for a while, can you attack with it the first turn it comes into your field? We don't know. Depends if it's a control magic or a like act right. of treason. Right. For anybody who knows magic, it's right. basically right. a difference is you either take control oh. or you take control of it for a turn, untap, give haste. So we drew yeah. we drew Vaughn and are instantly punished by discarding the Belias because he's actually just dead on board if I had the Belias in my hand. Oh yeah. Wow, that's the field badge right there. Because you play Vaughn, give it haste. My yeah. Block. Block um, one, or, or tap I, one I don't one. think we're that upset, though. Like, right? I think we're fine. We're You're still in good state. Yep. Yeah. We still have a Vaughn. So I'm going to attack with this guy. I don't know why that switched to yellow. I think I actually did party attack. So we're going to take damage. All right. Hit the Shiva. So... This guy's down to a 1k because of this. So I think that I am 
going to dis dull and dull this and activate this ability targeting this guy can't block and then attack with my VB. Great. Um, VB is 6k. Yep. And if this were a real game, you could probably attack with VV first and then before blocks do that so that they don't use any sort of dulling effect mm. after they know that he's going to nah, do that. Nah, I'm pretty bad. Damage. I, I wouldn't do that. I'm pretty bad. All right. Uh, <laughs> so now my options are to play the imaginary brawler, discarding this nice card that he does not know we have. Oh, that seems great. Yeah. Imaginary well, brawler seems insane on this board. It, it does, right? It really does. If he plays a guy and then plays orphan, can he, can he afford to do that? He plays two. So no. he's a discard two, play the You'd orphan. have to have a one or two drop. You have to have one, a one drop, yeah, one drop ice drop. But yeah, if he had a one uh, cost ice drop, he could do it, I guess. And so that would be a. The other thing is, I could just discard um, these two cards and play Vaughn. And just be like, well, do you have an answer? If not, you, you're dead. Here's the thing, though. He's at six damage. He's just dead anyway, right? So we just. I don't think we overextend into anything, right? I just don't know what that other card is. If it's like a Bahamut, that's crazy. It's a Phoenix. The four cost. Oh, okay. The big yeah. Phoenix? The big phoenix. I have, I have no targets, but, uh, though. I have no yeah. targets, so. And next turn, you could go, like, if you do get a target, you could pitch target. To, oh, if I don't get a target, uh, I can just pitch the imaginary. Yeah, then exactly. Yeah, imaginary brawler. Selfie. I could, I could that, discard yeah. the imaginary brawler to use the red mage. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hmm. All right, what you got, Chad? Don't like this position. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, you can't really attack if you leave yourself wide open. Um, sure you can. <laughs> three damage. I, I am playing water, so nice option there. Uh, what can you get me? Let's look at... Let's, uh, so, hey, since this is a friendly game, why don't you uh, tell us what your options are? We'll walk through it real quick. Um, so in my hand, I have uh, Scholar, mm -hmm. Devout, Arcanist, and Fairy. So none of those cards are good. All right, got it. Uh, yeah, no forwards fairy. and a yeah, fairy. yeah, yeah. Fairy. You, you could you could attack with trickster, with trickster, get a damage in, activate with fairy because it only costs one CP. Draw a card and hope for a forward. Yeah, that's yeah. Maybe you cast fairy this turn. So, but you get one damage and obviously for free. Right. I mean, scholar finds me another another forward. That would be DGS. Which then you can search for the DG. Which you're going to draw a card Good anyway, God. so you're going to turn one card into another and just hope it's a different color, but also get a damage in. I think I'd still like the fairy, because it replaces itself. I really don't like discarding a card to play the scholar. Yeah, I would much rather use the fairy. I think your 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 deck is also more favored towards ice, so you're more likely to draw the ice card anyway. So we will alt A... And I just save a trickster just in case he had shenanigans. Alright, so I'm gonna right click, take damage. Right. No EX burst this game, eh? Alright. Um, From either side of us. Do I care? We don't have that many though, right? Calendar? EX burst? We have. Oh, we have Not three time. EX bursts. So you cast that for probably Minwu or Yuna. Oops. Yeah. Yep, that's bad. I just opened up. Target. Alright. So we wanted to play Sea of Thieves there for a second. I accidentally opened up Sea of Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh all right so that untaps um so right now here's an important thing he used fairy he needs to stop so many like keep your tricksters tapped so many times your opponent will just draw the card this happens in real life too it's, it's the most frustrating thing i could have a lot of responses if i just kill his for example what if i just um brin hit this trickster right now uh like he has to, he doesn't get to draw the card Obviously, the game's over. Um, I wouldn't draw the card? No, because your your target is no longer legal. All of your targets are no longer legal. Yeah, that, that's... There's that, only that, one, but the distinction is if all targets of a correct. summoner ability are uh, illegal when it goes to resolve, the entire effect is canceled. Yep. Okay. So, I don't have any response, but I'm just saying you should say, is that okay or whatever? Resolves? Yeah, resolves. And we will draw one. I feel like while I'm playing, my, my hand would just be hovered over F10. <laughs> Ding. I don't think that it is F10. 
<laughs> Whatever the so, F key is for I have a response. Like, ding. I'm looking at the I response played, triggers. I don't. You can. You I can. Played the fairy and. Uh, oh, Control R. I drew a fairy. <laughs> oh, okay. Geez. So you drew a fairy. So you might want to play. You uh, you can attack with the the mage now, since we're still in combat. But why would Why would he do he drew, he, drew, he got another fairy. He drew another so fairy. Another oh, fairy. okay. That's, oh, did he yeah. fairy in combat? That's pretty, yeah. Pretty yeah, it's actually, that's exactly when you have to do it. Because in case you draw the fairy. All right. Man, what if I just get luckered out of this game? <laughs> All right, I took the damage. Draw your draw card. Draw Scarmigly on by Elias. Uh, oh, I'll take yeah. one. <laughs> draw his card. Yeah, fairy. Actually, Yep, fair is good. Yep, yep, yep. Draw your card. So we're gonna watch down here. Make sure he only draws one little cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Draw my entire deck. Yep. By the way, if you're looking I... at deck out your opponent right here, it says deck nineteen. He has nineteen cards left in his deck, whereas I have twenty two. So that's actually really important, especially if your opponent's playing the mill deck or if you're playing the mill deck. Uh, that's, that's you know, not even if you're playing the mill deck. I, I, a lot of regular games go to mill too. Yeah, the stall him out. Play yep. this card. Three. Oh gosh, oh, that that's annoying. frustrating. <laughs> and card is very good. That was one of my favorite gold buzz targets for a little while. I do have to be careful not to die. That is that is going to be an important lesson in this game. <laughs> I think I need to. So if I. I scholar for another Mystic Knight. I have blockers. Can you play the Mystic Knight? I can. I have two ice cards in hand. Oh. So okay. discard and gain CP. Um, clear ability. Dull. Oh okay. no, we're not gaining CP with that one. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna. It doesn't matter. All right. So. So discard. you're about to double Mystic. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> I think he has to. I'm actually he doesn't know yeah. what I have in hand, but he's dead he's dead right now. It without it. Don't. Yeah, because yeah, I I, I attack with my VV, he has to block. Like yeah. Yeah, you selfie slash well you make it so Trickster can block, right? And then Yeah, I make it no, I make it to where his um I can make it to where his Thotamage can't block. I attack with the VV. He has to block with bigger guy. My VV dies. Um, I then, then Phoenix it in, kill, kill his trickster. So you want to make it, you, no, because you can't kill because he doesn't have cards in hand. Uh, so you you want to target? No, say, I would. I would. I'd kill his tricks. I'd kill his trickster with the with the Phoenix and kill his thought of mage with the VV trigger. And then I tap, tap the ninja to make his mystic knight not block. So then he's dead. So yeah, yeah. Like, I, I was gonna say. I mean, similar. Yeah, red or make a Mystic Knight not block. Let VV die to Trickster, and then yeah, okay. Phoenix Trickster bring back VV. Kill Thaumaturge. Only one Mystic but that, Knight to block. But that isn't the case because he played a second Mystic Knight. So I think the play here now <clears throat> is we have to be careful. And this is one of the great things about Final Fantasy. Like, I have to make sure he doesn't kill me on the attack back. So he can only have one forward at the end of this turn, or I might lose the game. So I think the best way I have him just have one forward is attack with the VV, and then yeah, I have to make sure I have to make it to where his this guy can't block. Then attack with the VV, right? So let, let's just see. I, yeah, I think I have to. So let's move into the attack step. I'm gonna attack with the VV. Bef Oops. Before blocks. Before blocks. In response. I do. Was that all R? Hold on. I might just be. Oh, I might be just dead to this. So, so if I discard this to use this, so it can't block, right? He blocks with one of these guys. Doesn't matter which. My guy dies. Then I have to tap two. Vivi's a 5k. That's relevant. That's not showing on the board right now. Because yeah, he is. played it from break zone instead of from hand. Yeah. 
So, so he actually Let's does kill Mystic Knights. Three. I mean, the 5K was... I, I, I know that kills Mystic Knights. <laughs> that's, not, that's not the issue. Um, what the thing is, is that I need to be able to... So if I, if I... Let's say I just sack this. Make this not be able to block. Then I can discard this and this to tap these three, play Phoenix, kill the Trickster, <clears throat> and kill this. Yeah, okay, so he is dead, right? Or he's at no forwards in the field. So I'll attack like this. I will use the ninja so that this guy can't block. Oh, darn. Um, so then we move two blocks. Would it be so better... Wait, wait, wait. Would it be so better just to... Trade? Oh, no, I guess that you need two dead. Yeah. So, yeah, all right, so... Oh, there you, you, you probably trade here, yeah. Or, or no, maybe you don't trade. Maybe you, like, smell something. I don't know. I don't know what you do. Maybe you just... Um... Well, he knows you're missing knight. Missing knights aren't dying from hand. I know what you're definitely doing. You're not. You're not not blocking. Right. So, so I'll defend with trickster. Okay. To force Do you pump here for the trade? No, no, no. I don't pump. I discard. I let the BB just, die. And then I yeah, phoenix it back. Right. Yeah. So because I mean that, that gives me more. Wasn't value. sure if it was more CP efficient, but now you want to get a double kill. Yeah, I'm gonna dole these guys. Because if he pumped, he would... If he pumped... Right, but then the Thaumaturge is still alive. He needs you to not have two bodies. Well, would he still be able to play the Phoenix so if he pumped? Target then he, he would gets, kill... He had to pitch his whole hand. Well, he'd kill Trickster with the trade. Oh, wait, hold oh, on. Oh, you're hold not hold killing Thaumaturge. Yeah, so the, we, can't, we can't do that. Not we can't kill even do that. Wait, why is this in my damage zone, too? Why do I keep... Oh, it is supposed to be my damage zone. So we can't do that. So... Hold on, what's the piece that we're missing? Do we still so we killed that and we put a blocker in? Do you just pump with selfie? But then I mean, yeah, no, this. Alright, so let's, let's go back and figure this out real quick. Alright, so So Thaumaturge is you have five in hand. So Thaumaturge is back to one K. Why aren't you just making it so Trickster can't block? Oh wait, wait, this guy can't block at all this turn. Right? Oh, he's not dying. Thaumaturge. Can't Thaumaturge block. cannot block. So then I attack there, but then he can attack me back to kill me. Oh, what? With the Thaumaturge in the, the thing. Okay. So what do I... What's the best play here? So uh, so what are all of your cards in hand? Uh, I put on the field so you guys can see them. All right, we have Noel, Phoenix, Rao, Vaughn, Imaginary Brawler. Um, I'd say the Vaughn would be good to discard. <laughs> so I I need to replay the Phoenix so it comes down with. Uh... Don't you just play like? Hmm. So it's, well, I, could, I could I could selfie heck? right. It's a six K now. What is it doing? All right, that's fine. Look now I get to show the viewers how to use forwards power subtract. 1k 1,000 permanently. permanently. Yeah, and anybody right. who's sticking out with us or sticking with us to the <laughs> end here, props to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially if you're listening to your car. This is a wild. Yeah, it's, it's much more visual than. Okay, you know what, Sam, I'll give you your watch time. Okay, so I have, so I think, I think I do. I attack with the DV, and then you let him pick his point. I let him pick his point. Yeah, he could block with whoever he wants. And right. no matter what, you can play Vaughn post combat. He'll block for days. Right, yeah. So let's let's attack with the VV. Because even so if, if he wants no. to tax your resources, he blocks with Trickster. Because then you'll just pump with Selfie. But if he just wants to chump, he can block with anything else. Right. But he doesn't want to block with Mystic Knight. You know that's not happening. So he's probably going to block with Thaumaturge. Um. Yeah. Not knowing what he had in hand, I said I wanted to block with Thaumaturge. Okay. Just going into that phase. I, I think that's probably the right play, too, from you. All right, so that's fine. So your guy will die. That way, VV... I, I wanted to do that so VV didn't go into break zone for another target, etc. Off Phoenix. Yeah. So how do I make sure that he doesn't have an ability? He's got zero cards in hand. I want to make sure he doesn't draw, like, a Shiva. So we count, right? One in his damage zone, one in his <laughs> break zone. Or do you not sure. have a target for Phoenix right now? Um, he does you don't not. need a target. He could just AK something, but yeah. What well, if... then, then this is what you do. No, I thought you had to have a target on Phoenix. No, 
Uh, you just need one damage. You only need uh, right, one damage. Wait, where's the... You choose you, one forward. You have to have a forward in the yard. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was... Okay, I was reading You it. don't have to have a target okay. on your opponent's side. I thought they both set up, too. Yeah, that's my fault. I, I have the solution. Right, what's the solution, James? Give it to me, fire player. All right. Uh, discard Noel. Mm -hmm. He can be a target, right, for Phoenix? No, it's a three no. drop. I can discard the imaginary brawler, though. Why can't... He's a three drop, so. No, Noel's a four seven. drop. Noel's a four drop. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Okay, discard oh, whatever three drop you have. Wait. To yeah, use duh. Red Mage. Okay. Yeah, use Red Mage on a Mystic Knight. Stacking yeah. that, then target that with Phoenix, pitch your hand, kill Trickster, bring Imaginary Brawler back dull. All right, so I'm going to use this ability. Lednar, which yeah, will kill. Yeah, use that ability. All right, discarding. And what, what's not blocking here, James? You said Mystic Knight. All right, uh, right. just one of the Mystic Knight. Okay. Yeah. Can't block. All right, now. Do you I'm have enough this over here. CP? Yes, you do. Okay, yeah. so now you just use your ninja there to make it so the other one can't block. And then cast Phoenix. And then cast Phoenix. And then you Phoenix. attack. And then so you use the ninja. I, I, I can't use... I have Vaughn. I can't... I can't discard... Oh. I can't play yeah, no, it doesn't. Yeah, you're not... Yeah, it's not... You're just killing... So I can't cast... He doesn't have enough. You're, you're killing all of his board, except for one, which is not going to kill you. So so you're you're so I you pitch all right look at you. So I'm three, casting the Phoenix right now. Yes. Right? Targeting okay. the imaginary brawler. You're killing so, Trickster and he has to block your right. Lightnar yeah. or Mystic. Yeah, yeah. And so he all doesn't right. and since he doesn't have haste. Yes. Yeah, all right. So Dole, And then you kill him on the next start. turn by party. I was trying to discard. figure out how to win the game and I forgot you had Bond in your hand. Box you up. Dole. Yep, there you go. Dole. Uh cast Phoenix. So play this card. So we really wanted to win this turn. It didn't work out. That's all right. No. Can't always do it. Yep. Um, and we put the... Imaginary Brawler And then here. Brawler makes it really easy to win next turn. Between yep. Red Mage, Brawler, and Ninja, like there's zero chance uh, he's alive. Yep. And now I'm going to attack with Lenar. Easy. Yes, which forces uh, a block. And then yeah. he... Just... Lenar is going to be blocked by Mystic Knight. Um, His guy dies. I don't pay two. Are you, what, are you, are you sure? I don't. Okay. I'm <laughs> I pass the turn and I say, don't play Garnet into Belias. <laughs> but you can't even afford that. It'd just be cute. Yeah, no. <laughs> Only I had ice. But wait, so... but but if he casts a fairy after he attacks, can he attack again? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Only if your opponent's not paying attention. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, this sucks. Actually, wait. What's Imaginary Brawler's ability? You die. You, you die. Highest cost. <laughs> Choose Here's one for the, the highest, highest cost. cost. Can't block. So, sure. You play your warrior. I have Red Mage and Ninja and Imaginary Brawler. Yep. <laughs> also, you technically have attack. So he passes. Yeah, you know, like make. I'm gonna untap. Draw. Block, and then you can. Yeah, Lednar plus selfie on. Well, oh, there's well, there's Sabin. I've been wondering where that cutie's been. You would you would choose something other than Warrior of Light because Warrior of Light's the only imaginary brawler target. Correct. So we're going to Dole Dole activate this ability, choosing the sky, and then right. we're going to attack the imaginary brawler, and that's going to trigger and hit the Warrior Light. And we're going to take damage, and it's going to be an EX burst. And down oh. here, it's going to say, boom. <laughs> Chucker bro wins. Take seven damage. All right. Hopefully, we answered at least all the basic questions. Um, right. <laughs> James, would you say there's any quite, there's there anything that, like, in your in your your everyday matches with Octagon that we missed that you use a lot? Um, no, it was really good. I uh, like how, actually, you got rid of the arrow. I don't know how to do that yet. So, so when I drag that, you're talking about, like, this arrow? Yes. When I drag that arrow, I can just shift click back on the VV. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So I sometimes, sometimes, usually when I play the VV, I'll just say here. But if I'm like in a, a convoluted like uh, Pelador Cactar combo, sometimes I'll be like Cactar here, which pings to here, Pelador here to here and here, which just then pings to here. <laughs> um, you look like you're playing basketball. <laughs> but usually I only do that if they're not getting the point. Uh, so yeah, I think I think we covered most of the basics. We got to see Mono Fire. Uh, you said that if you were playing this deck, deck James, you would play Warbeck, um, Shadow, and Vermilion. 
Yeah, because you usually don't see Trickster. So <laughs> those are all really good cards, especially with the mech and First Strike, yeah. because it's like you're doing a one pause selfie. Right. All your yeah. First Strike. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I, I think that's really it. I do want to say um, good luck. Uh, uh, Gregory Cole, if you're in um, Toronto right now, I hope that you win it. Um, <laughs> if you're not there, then I'm rooting for Akimoto. Uh, it'd be sweet to see him win two in a row. Uh, anyway, good luck to all the players in Toronto this weekend. Uh, we are desperately looking forward to your results. Um, good luck to all the UK players at Nationals next week. Uh, thank you for helping me choose my deck for Kansas next month. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I want to I want to thank Chad and James for joining us, um, walking us through. So we, there's a lot of mistakes I think we would have made, uh, particularly me yeah. if if you guys weren't here. So thanks for joining us, guys. I love your podcast. Thanks, for Thanks man. You. Thanks. Um, anyway, uh, so again, that's uh, that's Chad down here on the left. You'll see him. His uh, he's fire shot, right? And then you have James yeah. here. And James, you are Redwood Wolf. Red Wolf Wolf. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. You'll see. You'll see him on. He's on all the time. R W W. Yeah. Um. And uh, I'm Sam Riley. I'm Zach Burrell. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, guys.